I'm Susanna Fisher. I'm a senior researcher in the Climate Change Group at IAD. Um, and I work on climate change planning and adaptation effectiveness. Um, well, the session was on measuring and linking adaptation across scales. So the challenges that came about were about how to support community-based adaptation from either national plans or global frameworks. Um, to be most effective and also how can you learn at the national and the global level about what's working locally and how that can be best supported. So there were challenges about information flows between those levels, support systems and frameworks and how to allow flexibility and, and space for community-based adaptation to happen in its own way as well as building it into those larger systems. The most interesting one was around maladaptation. So um, it, we might be able to capture successes and areas um, that have been working well between different levels, but it becomes more different, difficult when we try and look with a very long-term frame to will that actually be adaptive to the long-term uncertain climate future. It's, it's easier to think about the here and now than to changes in 20 or 30 years and whether those are going to be truly adaptive. Um, I think that's a question we didn't really get, find an answer to in the session. Well, we had a fishbowl discussion, so somebody came up uh, and, and suggested to the panel that we needed more frameworks and more taxonomies um, before we could even think about measuring the effectiveness of adaptation. And I think that was quite strongly rebutted by, by some colleagues on the panel who felt that enough already, we have a lot of frameworks, we've thought a lot about how to categorize things, and actually we need to just really start doing now, and measuring and being effective, and we can't halt forever about finding the best framework or the best methodology, we have to get started. So I think one of the key lessons was about learning in general from adaptation. Um, it's not a, a new lesson, I think one that will come across many of the sessions, but it's about how do we share those lessons between scales. So how can we think about community-based adaptation in different contexts, um, and how can those lessons be shared uh, up to national planning and global frameworks. Um, the private sector came up several times. It wasn't a way that I had personally framed the session, but it seemed that people felt it was important to think about how community-based adaptation was also linking to the private sector and how those links could work both ways, both to strengthen CBA and be of benefit to private sector actors. Um, we had the message about failing quickly, so people should be allowed to fail. Um, donors and partners need to recognise that highly Innovative projects are also high risk and they may fail, but it's important to fail quickly before investing millions and millions of pounds um, over a five or ten year period, but to find out what works as quickly as possible um, and then work around that. And I think the last key lesson was that um, whilst we were talking about linking between scales, it's really important to think about the purpose of what you're doing. So there may be different systems and different frameworks and different ways of linking that work with different purposes. And it's fine to have that multiplicity of approaches, and in fact we certainly shouldn't try and look for one size fits all.